Good morning, YouTube. This is Johnny. Time to make a video. It is a Sunday morning here in West Michigan. It is 1028 in the morning. It is May the 19th. It is my wife and I's anniversary. It's kind of interesting. We both got, excuse me, we both got the same cards. <laughs> my wife and I, we, we exchange cards and on birthdays and anniversaries and we both got the same anniversary card. We go to the same Paul's Pharmacy a couple blocks from here. They, they sell Hallmark's cards, but my wife and I both picked out the same cards. When I when I get I I don't like a lot of gooey gooey stuff in cards like Valentine's or birthdays. I like simplicity like uh I love you. All day, every day, forever in a day, especially on our day, happy anniversary. I like just simple. I love you. So yeah, it's our 40th wedding anniversary. Uh, yeah, we got May the 19th, I think it was 1978. We were married in the front living room of Carol's parents' house. It didn't have a church wedding. Didn't Carol invited her girlfriends and I had a guy that I was discipling at Mel Trotter's rescue mission. And that was it. We had a wedding cake in the dining room of her, Carol's parents' house. And her girlfriends were there. And uh, so we uh, drove back to the rescue mission, dropped off my friend. And we had a little apartment already after our wedding and uh, we didn't go on our honeymoon right away we went to i don't know i think maybe we did go on our honeymoon right away i don't remember but i think we went up to the upper peninsula of michigan on our honeymoon so yeah so it's our 40th and i wanted to uh get put all these used books that I got at thrift stores at the book nook, the library used bookstore down the lower level. I want to get these out of the living room. They're piling up and they're kind of to bother me because we're coming to the end of May, going into the month of June, 2019. So I want to get all these used books down in the lower level, get rid of them. <laughs> but this morning, I was writing in my diary on May the 19th, 2019. I'm on page 442 thus far in the year 2019. I was reading one of the new books that we got at Grand Rapids uh, last Friday. Romans Disarmed, Resisting Empire, Demand Demanding Justice, Sylvia Kismet and Brian J. Walsh. So, yeah. Somebody's calling on the answer machine. Nobody ever calls me on the answering machine. I don't have a cell phone. Uh, we have a land phone, but no one ever calls me. So, I was reading, this is on the Epistle of Romans. As you all know, I've been reading Romans, the Reformation commentary on Romans 1 through 8, and I was reading Richard Lawnecker's commentary and epistle of Romans and uh, so I'm reading this on Romans this morning so yeah let's get to the used books well yesterday I went I had to go I had to go pick up coffee beans down the down the street and there's a thrift store right nearby and I picked these up called Action House they you can get furniture and clothing. They hand out. They have a food 
a food pantry for people who needed food. It's a Christian ministry, but they sell used books. I found this one, Autumn, The Autumn of the Middle Ages <clears throat> by John Johan uh, Ozen. Ozing, uh, Ozinga. Uh, this is translated out of the German by Rodney J. Patton and Jurek Mamamich. I had an old paperback of this and I found this nice hardback yesterday. It's a very classic uh, book. You see it in all the bibliographies. It's a very famous book on the, uh, the autumn of the Middle Ages coming into the time of the birth of the Renaissance. And then I've shown you over the last couple of years when I go to used book sales or I'm always looking for the writings of uh, J.P. Uh, this is S.P. S.J. Perlman. This is the most of J. S.J. Perlman. Uh, this is the definitive, the biggest, therefore the funniest selection of the works of S.J. Perlman, the when man, Marquis, who lurking behind the arrows of wild hilarity, has for almost three decades defended our national sanity against the cuckoos, the pure English tongue, against the onslaught of slobs from his writings since 1930. So he selected these writings, and this is the most of J. A. S. J. Perlman. So I got that. Then I picked up a biography on Theodore Roosevelt that I didn't have. I collect books on Roosevelt. He wrote a lot of books, Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I didn't have this biography, Theodore Roosevelt, A Life by Nathan Miller. And then I picked up this big book on an old book, Birds of America. It's kind of dated, but it was only $2, and I don't know. It has these old illustrations of birds, and I don't know. Look kind of interesting. These old illustrations of birds. So I like bird books, and it was only $2, and kind of beat up, but hey. So I got that, and then last week, I don't know, it was like a Monday, I think, or, yeah, last week, Monday, after tulip time, I went to thrift stores north of Holland, I found these. This is a, Eating a Memoir by Jason Epstein. <clears throat> Jason Epstein was an editor. He, uh... Joseph Epstein, the legendary editor and publisher of Norman Mailer, Nabatov, Gord Vidal, and many other, among many other distinguished writers and other, and the editor of such great chefs, chefs and bakers, Alice Waters, Wolfgang Pack, etc., takes us on a coronary, you know, like food tour through his eventful life. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, this is a memoir by Jason Epstein eating. Then I found this uh, field guide to atmosphere. <coughs> My throat is totally, excuse me. <coughs> ah, terrible. A field, <coughs> a field guide to the atmosphere. Uh, this is the Peterson Field Guide series you have on birds, wildflowers. This is on the atmosphere. This is uh, Rick Moody, The R Ring of Brightest Angels Around Heaven, a novella and stories. I have this already, but I bought it f for my uh, library, roving library in my van. <laughs> If I see anything by Rick Moody, he's one of my favorite writers. And if I see any of his books and the, the text is clean, there's no markings, I'll buy it. <clears throat> and then I picked up The Demon and the Angel Searching for the Source of Artistic Inspiration by Edward 
Hirsch. This is another book I have already, but if I see any book, it's in good condition, hardback, paperback, by Hunter S. Thompson, I'll buy it. <clears throat> Especially if it's cheap. This is Hell's Angels, A Strange and Terrible Saga. It's a clean text for my uh, Hunter S. Thompson collection. And then I found this novel by Jim Crazy, Arcadia. And this is a, uh, this is by two journalists. Uh, it's kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my throat. I can't know what that is. The South. Uh, this is like them traveling throughout the South, the United States. Uh, there is a nation within America. American Commonwealth is a nation older than the United States. A nation whose icons are sour mash whiskey, the savage idea, college football, good old boys, king cotton, southern bells, the lost cause, stock car racing, you might call this nation the Southland. You might, as W.J. Cash did in his classic study, The Mind of the South, call a cloud cuckoo land, or you might, with B.C. Hall and C.T. Wood, just call it the South. So it's, a, it's like a, an overview of the history of the South, uh, you know, just these two journalists. And I don't know, I like, I lived in the, we lived in the South, when I was in seminary in Mississippi, and so I like reading about the South. And, and this is a book I have already in paperback, God's Funeral by A.N. Wilson. This is nonfiction. It's in perfect condition. I collect books by A.N. Wilson. He uh, wrote a book on uh, Paul, the mind of the apostle. He wrote a book on Jesus. He wrote a biography in C.S. Lewis. He wrote a book, a biography on John Milton. He has novels, which I have downstairs, The Victor of Sorrows. So I got these. This book by God's Funeral. Uh, so I got those books last Monday at, I think, Salvation Army. And then I got these books. This is a I got at the book note, the library used bookstore. This is a novel. It's kind of modernist, postmodernist. Looney, uh, Lenny, Looney. <laughs> Lenny Bruce is Dead by Jonathan Goldstein. This is an old biography on the playwright Bernard Shaw, George Bernard Shaw, uh, by Hisketh Parson. Bernard Shaw, his life and personality. It's really old and kind of musty. Uh, but it was only like, you know, I think 70, 90 cents. And I have other biographies on Bernard Shaw, his plays, Man and Superman. And um, when I was really young, I was really into plays, playwrights, and, but couldn't pass it up. Then I got this at the book nook. This is a thriller by Joe Na Nasbo, Macbeth. I have this too. This is a portable. Uh, this is the, uh, I think he's a Renaissance Italian writer. Rabolis, Rabbit, Rabalis. I can't pronounce it. I already have this too. This goes into the library, roving library in the old Dodge van. Got this at the book nook against the grain, the deep history of their earliest states. It's like, it's like a book. It's a nonfiction on prehistory, like looking at plants and animals and people before, like in the really early times prehistorical times. This is the America, Library of America writings of William James, the pragmatist philosopher American. I collect 
William James biographies, his writings. His brother was Henry James. His sister was Alice James. I, I collect books on those people. And this is William James. Varieties of Religious Experience, Pragmatism, a Pluralistic Universe, The Meaning of Truth, Some Problems of Philosophy, and Essays. And then I picked up a, a hardback edition of a novel I had already. This is kind of like a cult classic, uh, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniel Wisk. I had this is I had this in paperback, and I got the book nook last week, a hardback edition for two dollars. This is a sign edition, which has his. It's signed by him. I don't know. I've tried reading this thing a couple of times, but I do plan to read it someday. <laughs> and it's kind of nice to get a hardback. They go for $40, a hardback edition. I got this for a birthday gift a couple of years ago. So those are the used books I got. These can go down the lower level now. I know I butchered the pronunciation on the authors and titles. You got to forgive me. I noticed that people say that. Forgive me for my pronunciation. for butchering, and I do get comments. You really, <laughs> I really did a bad one on that one. But I've noticed that people throughout the world have a hard time pronunciations of titles and authors and words. So I know I'm not alone in the world. But, uh, so I just want to show you all these used books so I can put them down the lower level and get them out of my sight. I don't plan to read any of them. Well, I am reading Romans Disarmed this morning for devotions. I don't think I'm going to keep anything up here. I think all this goes down the lower level. You know, some go, like these go into the... These go into the van, these two. Uh, this one, yeah, these three go into the roving library, into the van. Uh, uh, so these will go into the van. That's about it. I mean, this is like, this is a Sunday. My wife went to church this morning. Today is our 40th wedding anniversary. Uh, our son, Caleb, down the street, invited us over for hamburgers. This evening, see our little Joycey Joy and little Cora and Emily. And I don't have anything planned for this week. I just uh, drift through it. Monday morning, I volunteer at the Book Nook again. Next week, Carol leaves for Denver. Next Tuesday, not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, she'll be gone for a week visiting our daughter Beth and her husband Andy and the three three grandchildren there. Uh, Louisa, Margaret, and Jack, and I'll be here. Probably make videos, read books, write in my diary, listen to music. So yeah, existence keep going by. Last night I was looking at my subscription list, and not, it says 90-90% of my viewers are males. <laughs> so I was kind of curious how many women watch my videos. But as I think about it, I'm Maybe my literary taste doesn't really appeal to women. And plus, I'm an old guy. I'm not one of these young, young, young guys. I'm an old man. And so I don't have any sex appeal. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to check in, show you these used books, tell you what's going on in my reading world. Uh, it's a Sunday. It's coming to the end of May. Here in Holland, it's been kind of humid today. Everything is just blooming. I'm going to have to plant my wildflower seeds uh, this week. And yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all those who make comments, subscribe. I'm not really into numbers, but I do enjoy 
I like making videos for the interaction, the comments, and tell and knowing what, what you guys are reading and what's on your mind and what you've got at thrift stores or library halls or just got questions about Christian literature or any kind of literature. Uh, I'm a bookworm. I mean, I collect books. I'm a book collector. I don't read these books, as you can see. I collect things. Uh, I like just having a house full of books. So I'll sign off. Hope you have a good new reading week. I might make a video tomorrow. Uh, Carol works the next couple of days. Tomorrow night she'll be gone, I think. So, till next time, bye.